Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. John Kelly Profiler here, and welcome. Welcome to part 27 of our very sad series, Who Killed Libby German and Abby Williams. I know we come and go from this case, but I want you to know it is on our radar, and we never leave it. We may postpone it for a week or two until we have something to add, but it is constantly on our radar. What I want to do today is I want to bring out our other channel, Thrive. And Thrive is for those of you that may be having a problem with addictive illness in your family. Addictive illness is one of the biggest mass murderers out there. And with all this stuff going on with COVID and everything, it's only growing and getting worse. Feel free to look at Thrive. No obligations on our channel for... Uh, any of the educational vids we've put up there. With that being said, today I want to focus on Jerome Weiss. Okay, he's somebody that has become a person of interest to us and we're really looking at hard. Somebody we've been looking at for quite a while, frankly. But, you know, today we've uh, decided we have some information we want to put out there and see what you think about it. And I want to thank true crime Jesus for the work they've done with Jerome Weiss. They have an excellent video out there and I suggest you all look at it. I also want to shout out to Harvey Carroll and his team for all the great work they've done and especially Sandra. Sandra has done a fantastic job, worked very, very hard and is, uh, you know, Harvey's right-hand gal or partner, however you want to look at it. But Sandra really uh, deserves uh, a big shout out because uh, and a lot and a lot of congratulations for her great work. She's she's worked very hard and done a great job. Also, there's another vid out there I think is very interesting. If you want to watch video by Open Secrets and her interviews with Garrett Kurtz, uh, that's very very interesting as well. That's a very interesting vid. And um, she got uh, Garrett Kurtz talking pretty good there. And, uh, you know, that's what I like. I like when uh, people talk a lot, especially people of interest talk a lot. Okay, so anyway, today we're focused on Jerome Weiss, sex offender of children. And we know he was a hunter, fisherman, uh, knew the area pretty well uh, around the Mona and High Bridge. Um, you know... He's also uh, alleged to be involved in the accidental killing that he accidentally killed his 16-year-old girlfriend, uh, Catherine Cole, a girl they called Cat. Uh, from what I understand, she was a beautiful little girl. And supposedly, supposedly he accidentally uh, fired his gun while tripping and killed her. Uh, that's a very interesting dynamic to me because he is a registered sex offender in prison right now. He's doing a lot of time. Uh, and when he gets out, you know, what we're going to have is a registered sex offender who's pretty violent, um, you know, uh, loves guns. He has a lot of guns and loves to shoot guns. And um, obviously, uh, he supposedly accidentally murdered cat. Uh, so I guess more will be revealed on that, uh, but I have some concerns here. What we're interested in, and I think you might find this interesting, some of the signs associated with Jerome Weiss, and we got it uh, off his uh, sex offender registry, and I just thought you might find it really interesting. I'm focusing in on the tattoos today. I was analyzing the tattoos. And he has a tattoo of two guns together, which signify, if you look at the significance of them and research it, you'll see they mean strength and power or power and strength. And we know the person supposedly that uh, assaulted and abducted uh, Abby and Libby was somebody seeking power, somebody wanting to have power over others. 
that's something of interest to me, okay? Also, uh, you know, on another tattoo, he has Bone Collector. Well, Bone Collector is an older movie. I think Denzel Washington starred in it. Good flick, good flick. It's about a serial killer, okay? So the Bone Collector is a serial killer. And I just find it interesting that Jerome has this tattooed on his arm. Also, Jerome has another tattoo. I mean, Jerome has a lot of tattoos. I mean, he... I think he has a love for tattoos as much as he has a love for guns. Jerome also has another tattoo of a catfish. So I see a catfish, of course, I think of catfishing. You know, and, you know, we've had some theories out there. There's been some theories out there from all of you that Libby and Abby might have been catfished. Well, tell, tell you what, when I look at the significance and research the significance of the catfish tattoo, it means just that catfishing okay because its description is that it means deception betrayal negativity and destruction okay that's what i've found the catfish means and that's right out there do your research it's right on the net then we look at another tattoo of a bow an archery bow and that's similar to a gun because its meaning is the same as a gun. As the, as the meaning of the gun is power and strength, the tattoo of the crossbow is power and strength. So again, you know, we see a lot of, a lot of different things here that are insinuating someone who wants to have power, control, and strength. Okay? Now... How far does that go? I don't know. But obviously, these are signs uh, of someone who, like I said, wants to have power and, um, you know, is a violent and sexual abusing and sexual offending person. So he definitely gets a look at. There's no question about it. And again, everybody's innocent of proven guilty in a court of law. I know you might be thinking the same thing I'm thinking. We assume Nelly would have checked his DNA, and his DNA is not a match. What does that mean? Well, I don't know. There haven't been uh, very many people cleared here by Ellie because of them being arrested and being incarcerated and being found guilty or committing suicide. I haven't heard of anybody being cleared by their DNA. I haven't, all I hear is that they have DNA, but what DNA do they have? What DNA do they have is the question. Is it the DNA of the predator or is it DNA from somewhere else? I don't know. That's a mystery and only law enforcement knows. But I just haven't heard of anybody being cleared specifically because of the DNA. And if I'm wrong, please let me know. I appreciate it. So anyway, with all that being said, uh, we're calling Jerome Weiss a person of interest. And uh, he's just very interesting right now. Please continue to subscribe. Please continue to send us your feedback, your comments. We're always interested in your info. Most importantly, take care of yourself. Make it a great day out there. Thank you so much.